Hi, this is CT Time of Plus TV Africa. Welcome back. Um, okay, so we have quite a few more under our sleeves before we let you go and have a beautiful Friday. Businesswoman Laura Ikeji engages in a heated argument with a follower over her 20 million Naira birthday cash. Recall that the businesswoman and wife to Obwana Onwako had celebrated her birthday on the 15th of March. While at it, she had taken to her Instagram page to boast of her mind-blowing birthday gift given to her by her husband. The gift is a 20 million Naira cash gift. However, this hasn't gone well with some followers as she has received a lot of backlash about being fake. The recent criticism is coming from a follower who accused her of doing too much for the gram, basically. Another follower accused her of lying about her husband, about a house her husband bought her in Atlanta, and requesting that Laura should show her followers the 20 million Naira cash gift. Unfortunately, Laura couldn't take the heat as she's seen in a hot exchange with one of the followers. Um, I think just let those people be. Like, this story is actually none of my business. If a woman tells me her husband <laughs> gave her $20 million, it's actually none of my business. Your husband, and if a man is going to take my name being lied upon, if I did not give you 20 million, I'll come out and say I did not give my... Don't come and chase my helper, woman. Don't come. <laughs> see, so don't you understand? Like, I'll come and beg you out in public to you. Came on social media, please, I did not give it to my wife. Do you understand? Would you really? What if? Yes. Yes. If I don't give my wife 20 million naira and she's coming out to say I give her, so I want to go and collect contract of 50 million naira. You know, I said I've already dashed out 20 million. Will you take me seriously? There are husbands that will not come out to talk, please. Yes, there are husbands. Not just the mumu husband. You should not talk out. You don't talk out. You know, it doesn't mean, I think it actually can be strategical because you put yourself in a class that you are not actually. So if you are giving her yeah. yeah. wife with a mouse, so you should be getting more. I'm telling you. Because yeah. if I'm giving my wife 50k, I mean um, 20 million, then you're coming to me with, you know, your pocket. That was a be... Because I, I, saw, I saw one video of uh, one of our very popular, you know, um, influencers that he had a Rolex wristwatch. And he was telling that, um, guys, that you want to be wearing G Shock. You want to be wearing this first bracelet, Abby? <laughs> you don't have sense. You better go and buy Rolex because when you walk into a room and somebody looks at your Rolex and you're talking about 30, that's $30,000 on your wrist or more. Mm. Do you understand? So when you're talking about money, they're actually listening and they're looking like, you look at for when you're just wearing it on your but wrist. But it makes sense mm. if you're wearing 30000 but then you live in... I'm not coming. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not bash anyone. And then now. you're not living one tiny chunkolo place in Aja, mm. and then your car is, is always making a and funny noise. At least it would, before it, it, you come, it would give you, it access to, to you the have to be really you careful, to though, like with the packaging stuff, because I think more and more people are beginning so to. Don't care where they rest their head, though. Now, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that more and more, I think people are beginning to um, value authenticity, mm. like. Even if you package, it should be too mm -hmm. extreme it that be it more looks than your fake. Package. Yeah, that you, mm -hmm. you cannot start to tell that that's a package. I feel like the society actually are the ones that have made people to want to package to that extent. It's I know not someone society, that it's the pressure of the society. society yeah. all, of, all of us. I know someone that lives like he drives a Benz. He lives in that Benz. Doesn't have a house. <laughs> When I got to find out, I was like, really? So people go this far mm. just to prove Tell me you guys went two. on a date. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 fair, no, no. That's not it. Like, I, the person lives around <laughs> my area. Is so, sorry, so, like, the car um, parks there every time. The of cereal. Sorry, baby. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, No, no, no. Like, the car parks there every time. And then we got to, like, check and then we found out. I was like, okay. Just to improve or, excuse me, impress, um, impress someone. I'm like, wow. So they've gone this far. Yeah. So, Laura IKG, I don't know. Well... She's she's fond of putting out things yeah. there, trying to show and all of that. So yeah. I think people should just let people show what they want to show. And if you are on social media, pick what you want to pick and leave the one you don't want to pick. Yeah. Thank you very much, because man, what is there? It's not just twenty million. I think I did that last week. I gave my girlfriend twenty million. Now. Exactly. Twenty yeah, million. Yeah. So, well, well, what's the big deal? If I say so just, is a lie. I mean, it's I not even put it on social media. Which you know, I just you know, did it and like, but well, now you said on national television and, now and somebody this program is now airs in thirty um, 30 countries in Africa, but you know, you're not, you're not bragging at all. I'm not yeah. bragging. Yeah. No. So, no, so no, bring no. your businesses to me. <laughs> but what is 20 million to your brother? Come on. Anyway, um, I think social media, although I'm of the opinion that, yeah, mind your business, but once you put some information on social media, I think it's very warranted mm. that you accept the backlash because, mm. I mean, you can still respond to that backlash how you want. You can tell them to go and fry egg or whatever. But I still think I, as a, as a user, I'm allowed to interact with anything that I see that is public. 
if you put that information online, I'm allowed to respond the way I want to respond. True, true, um, obviously, there is, no there is um, boundaries to that. I'm not in support of cyberbullying or mm -hmm. anything like that. But I think that everyone should know this. If you're on social media, it's a public space. Yeah, it is. It's like when you walk out of your house and you start to do things on the, pub, on the road. I'm allowing... Pop, um, let, me um, just strangers to let, me, have let me just explain this to opinion you. Yes, it's like basically. when you leave the comfort of your home and you go and take a walk on the street on a rainy day and they splash you water, you say, why did they splash Thank me Thank you water? very much. But if I was on my bed and I come to my pool, um, rain what water time? in my I house, you. do you get know what I mean? So like, I don't think she should be shocked that she's getting questioned and all of that. And obviously she's doing it to get... Um, uh, what's it called? A response, right? I'm mm. sure she... No, yes, yeah, she's, she's upset about the bad responses, but she cannot tell me that she's putting that information out so that people cannot say, oh my God, great husband. Because she's not complaining about that. She's not saying, oh why God, are you complimenting when? my husband? Oh God, or, when? you know, she likes that. She's probably liking a few comments or whatever. So she's yeah, getting a f um, um, interactions with the quotes and I guess she, she, she I don't know what, she, I have no idea. I can't find them why you, what you want to gain from telling people that. But, like you said, it's her personality, it's her brand. It's I haven't really day. followed her intensely, but the t little times I've actually followed her, she's been making sense to me personally. Mm. Like she gives some advices on like you know who to marry. Mm. And <laughs> sometimes she makes it. She oh, makes sense and all of that. Wait, 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 wait. She thinks she seems to know more. Wait, uh, 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 wait. You know, every time you don't feel like. Do you know about the husband? You know about their marriage? Why does it have to be about your husband? Honestly, I have to actually Google the husband because I'm like, yeah. you don't know him. He's actually yeah, no. rich. He's actually rich. Mm. He's actually oh, is rich. it his brother that is rich? A million the guy that's the rich. family is rich. Anyways, let's so 20 million is probably not a problem. It could be a loan. Don't mm. say what you don't know. Let's go in. See, I told you she knows more. Spill it. <laughs> There's no more. She there knows no more. Did you hear she said it? Mm. Don't say what you don't with very strong Igbo accent. Excuse you. <laughs> How? <laughs> no, I don't hear it too. <laughs> anyway, I mean, but you see, she also put up her her pictures about, you know, the three million she got for her from her friends oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, so you can cool. see why people are asking. I don't understand the the <laughs> hotness from personally speaking. I don't understand the hotness. If you did that to me, like I, I get gifts all mm. the time. I'm not putting it anywhere. So if I now say something and then you're not like come at me. Two million I sent you last uh, year. Yeah, baby, I did. <laughs> you know, and then you know you're not asking me to show you. I'm like, are you okay? Whatever, whatever. But that's what you do. Like you mm. you share things. Why are you upset that people are asking? You show the three million. Why can't you show the twenty? And, the the house. House? and you said it's also cash, isn't and it? So like, do a selfie. House. You show us your toilet. You show us your you enter the toilet. You can't keep it in peace. You show us everywhere. You, you I mean, no, it's not a problem. I get, I get it, but at the end of the day, she it's can't really show us none of my business. It's no, she really, she really can't show us what she wants to show us. She's still in charge of her, mm -hmm. of her life. It's her social media. And I, I like how uh, um, celebrities... And I also have told her, please don't show my money. Uh, exactly, there's also that. Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't show that. FBI stuff. Rich men, there are ways we think. Absolutely. And I think I like how celebrities will always tell you that even though they have shown us their lives and stuff, even me, sometimes I need that reminder yeah, that they can still decide, not even just relationships, they can still decide what they want to share with us or not. But and that's true. Even if they show almost everything, they yeah. still stuff a lot that we're not aware yeah, of. Yeah, and, that, and that's okay. So if she says she doesn't want to show us, she doesn't want to show us. Please. Um, something that somebody wants to show us. A Ghanaian actress, Juliette Ibrahim, has shared her thoughts on what usually occurs during people's youthfulness. The movie star and the beauty entrepreneur took to her Instagram page to state that many women and men spent their youthful damage their youthfulness damaging others while because of the lack of re readiness to settle down the nigerian based actress also shared pictures of herself to buttress her points <laughs> she added that the same people who went about damaging others in their youthful years eventually go in search of people who are not damaged when they are ready to settle down. In her words, did you realize that so many women and men spend their youthful years damaging others and when they're ready to settle down, they want a person who is not damaged? Hashtag a toast to life. I don't like when people put out a cup and they start talking about a dog. I swear. Just, if you're putting a, a cup, talk about, about a your cup. dog now. Nah. What cup are you talking about now? What cup are you talking about? What dog is she talking about? She's uh, talking about um, people damaging people's lives. And then she's putting a very nice... Like she ain't damaged. Life. I'm good, good. Hey. <laughs> what are you I saying? That to way. inspire. I feel like that's a process to life. And I don't mm. want to call it damage. Because mm. life is all about learning. Mm. It's a process. So mm. if you've learned, if something has happened, I think it's meant to happen. That's just growth. That's just growing, going through life. So 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But I, 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 maybe I, she's maybe she's trying to ex say something to someone or try to say from something from what she's experienced. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely personal. And I think maybe mm. because I can relate, I will try and speak for her a bit more. Um, when it comes to relationships in younger ages, I've unfortunately been with a lot of toxic people, mm. people who have who have had no other intention but to break down the esteem or um, you know manipulate you or use you, abuse you, and all of that. And when I grow older, I can see that they could, they didn't know better, to be honest. I also kids, I'm, I'm talking maybe they're also 16, 15, mm. 14, whatever. But words cut and people you love have strong influence over your life and all of that. Um, but I do notice, though, that if... I think maybe the difference between me and, me and someone like her, the reason why I'll never really have the urge to either talk about it or tweet about it like this in a post is because I'm, I'm, I've moved past mm. that damage. I wouldn't describe myself as that. Mm. But I would say that there, that there are points in my life where I saw that, that was really bad for, for humanity. <laughs> like, mm. it was really bad for the mental health and really bad and all of that. Mm. But then you see these people who are grown now and have changed and, have, and now they want somebody who doesn't have the insecurities that you planted in other people when you were younger. So I've seen that a lot. Like, okay, for example, I, can, I, think, I think about a uni boy who um, used to emphasize on people getting drunk all the time and used to throw parties and all of that. And we had a, he had an accident in uni. But you people are watching, they don't know what I'm talking about. And somebody died, right? A friend of his died in the car. Oh. Mm. And then now he's gotten older and he's advocating for... Um, he's, he's quite... It, yeah, it's a bit somehow, but he's very like <laughs> specific about what he wants in a woman and oh. all these other things. He's quite weird in that sort. Like, oh, I want you to be a virgin. I want you to do this and not do that. You must have not ever done this and all this. And body count is important. And he also talks about alcohol as well. And I remember like he went crazy on Facebook because in Australia I use Facebook a lot more. Like, like we use WhatsApp or Twitter. Mm. So when, it was crazy on Facebook about how like oh, why is this guy even mentioning that? Like you basically. Yeah. Um, um, pressured people when you were younger to do these many things now that you're asking for. So, I, I, that's, I think that's where she's coming from in that regard. Okay, so can, can I just react to that real quick? Now, I think a lot of people, now a lot of people see it as because um, you've been, you know, a, a part of people's damaged life or you've been a part of people's, you know, um, influence, peer pressure and all that. That gives you the right not to want something better. That even gives you the right to oh, want something better because you've seen it. You've experienced it. You know how those things are. Now, for example, let's talk about your friend who influenced people to drink a lot, who's a lot older. Now, he's probably had his fair share of his, you know, youthful days, done the craziest, you know, and he knows what alcohol does to somebody. Mm. So is it not okay for that guy to say, I don't want a lady who drinks? Well, I don't now, think I'm not saying because you drink, I'm judging you. I just don't want it. Now, it's probably because he doesn't want any trigger for himself mm. anymore. That's something. That's you understand? To a point of contention, though, like, it's, not, it's not about that you don't have a right to, to do that, or mm. that you don't have a right to ask for better. Like that's not that's not the. No, then point there was also contention. something you said that I picked up on, which is um, you know, uh, people who uh, oh wait wait I need to find your words. Okay, I think you were talking about people who's been you know damaged people, and um, they want they they're specific about exactly what they. Want. I think that is also it's the same thing you're saying again. Yeah. It's, yeah, not, there's, there's it's not it's not it's not a problem. It's I not also like have it's, a question. Yeah, go on. Okay, so um, you said um, people who have damaged people, according to her, because of um, not getting married earlier, so is that what she said, or mm, not getting involved, like, so, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what she's saying, like... Okay, yeah, so, so, so to me, I don't understand the whole relationship, She's saying that people thing. should not... That's, a, that's why, I, remember, I, I also mentioned that I think the difference between me and her is that she might probably still see... Like, this might only apply to people who still see themselves as damaged and don't fit that category, right? Mm -hmm. So, but, but the reason why I empathize with her is because I can understand, uh, from a victim perspective, when you see the people who played a big part in messing you over, um, now forming going righteous. Going against what they Jonas, did. Yeah, Jonas are forming. No, it's not even like they're going against, like forming righteous. Mm -hmm. Because that person, yes, mm -hmm. has the right mm -hmm. to definitely ask for Want more and better. ask for better. But I think you, we can also demand empathy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? True. We're also demanding yeah, that you, you have more people should it, even understand yeah, that yeah, because yeah, you were, you played a big part in messing people over. So you can say to people that, oh my, I've been there, I've done that. It's not a good life or whatever, whatever. But I want to grow and I, I want to be better because best, best, best believe that that tone is is judgmental. If you say, yeah. oh, I don't want this, one, I don't. Want, and how can you be judgmental for a, a path that you've walked? Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's if it's true. not coming from a good place, like you should still be able to be like. Mm, 
obviously everyone is going to change and grow and evolve. I don't think, I don't like that thing when they say, oh, you're being fake. This guy used to do this thing last year. You know, I'm not the guy last year. I'm, I'm the, the, yeah. the aim is to grow and stuff. But, but the, other, the other part where she's saying that um, they do this thing because of their, they think, they didn't get like get married or what? I really wish I can see no, it's that not person again. No, she said that they damage people's lives. When from... they not want to get married, they want somebody who is not damaged. Yeah, so there's, there's something. There's something I'm trying to. Um, when she said um, when they're ready. When to they want to settle down, they want a person who is not damaged. So many young women are saying they're damaging others. Okay. So um, she basically said, Did you, do you realize that so many men and women spend their youthful years damaging others, and when they are ready to settle down, they want a person who's not damaged? Okay, youthful age. Mm. So what I'm saying is, what do you want them to do? Are you <laughs> saying they should get married? Like, <laughs> to, to damage people. Like, what are you saying? Okay, I think, I mean, you know, there's people who, who have sex, obviously, and then they say they want a virgin. Mm. Yeah. And maybe that, that's it. That, that's, I do, that I do kind of like, fits that category. It's kind of that. weird, though. Like, okay. I'm, Why I'm, would anybody want a virgin, though? Ha, <laughs> like, it's so... Voila. It's so strange. If it's not cultism. That's a if lot it's of not work. cultism and, that's like, something too, weird too or fetish, stress. you shouldn't, like, not even, like, too much. I don't think you should be He's emphasizing. From angle. Yeah, I don't think you should be emphasizing on sexuality about like it's kind of creepy. Mm. Like, what do you want to use it for exactly? <laughs> anyway. Can I, can I, can I? <laughs> In the movies. Put your in head the movies. on in my movies. shoulders. In movies, you guys, who, who saw a silhouette challenge? <laughs> I saw it. He did it. Oh, you didn't see Can I, can I use a silhouette challenge? No, I didn't. Oh, wow. I you saw it. I saw it. it. You should. All right, let's try and um, talk about the next story. Oh, wait, 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 before. We'll do some music. We'll, 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 we'll do music. We'll do music. It's Friday. It's Friday. See, you're not know, hosting. Like, that's why there's some music. Talk about you on Friday. <laughs> I want music, music, music. You can leave this premises. <laughs> it's not too late. All right, let's well, uh, before we even move on, I don't know if we touch. I if I asked you guys about the damage stuff because I don't know if you relate to that personally. Do you feel like there's anyone who has maybe had a bad impact on your life and is moving on, and you feel some type of way or something? Hmm. You know. Mm. Obviously, mm. yes. No. Or no. he's the damager. <laughs> <laughs> he's the damager. So. I think so. He's yeah. Damager. Mm. You should be. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. You fit the, you fit the category. <laughs> anyway, reality TV star Ifunaya, Ifu Enada has shared why people need to prioritize making money over sex. Writing about sex, money, and love in a series of posts on her Instagram story, Ifu stated that money is sweeter than sex and that the peace of mind money gives you can't be, can't be compared to temporary pleasures of sex. She also advised people to focus on making money instead of prioritizing sex, which she claims will leave them in shambles. The BBN Niger also st um, um, star also stated that people should choose money over sex because once one can live without it and others can't live without Most people can't live without money. In a post, Ifu wondered why men turn to, de to, to the devil when they fall out with the partners once they claimed to love. She said men become angry beasts and desperate, desperately use vile weapons against a woman they claim they once loved. According to her, if, you love, if love ever turns to hate, it was never love. In another post, the reality star said that true love is almost dead because some people are in the lost with physical appearance and material things. You see, she got better. Yeah. I think with the post, she was talking. I don't know if she was talking she's in the talking rubbish. Talking nonsense at the beginning. Yeah, then she, she I was like, "What are you talking about?" about? You know when rubbish, she said, "Just give them a listening ear to the yeah. dog." If love they turns to, to hate, right? That's the most powerful never part. Loved. That was the but that's most, true. Yeah, yeah. very true. Because I found true. that everybody that I've ever tried to hate or that I've ever said I'm never going to have anything to do with this person, as long as I remember that I once loved you, it just comes like there's this adrenaline rush that just feels like ha. I miss this Opa. person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It happens all the time. I don't know if it happens. It's true. To me it's again. true. Very much true. Do you if you really love someone, mm -hmm. like I don't think people change that much. You can evolve and grow and be better versions of yourself, but I don't think people inherently change. Like mm -hmm. the thing that makes you you, because you, you can't change your memories, you can't change your childhood, you can't change your experience. So there's only so f there's only so much. It's, it's, it, you can only go so far away from yourself, mm -hmm. right? I don't think a like for me, I can't imagine. Mm, I don't know, like, there's some things that are core to me, like I'll always love my family, or I'll always be family-oriented, or I'll always, I, I, like, I like to um, 
interact with people and then I also like to have time to like re re regroup or whatever, like I'm ambivalent or whatever. I don't think that's going to change. Like I don't see, I don't really see people changing that much. Even older people, when they talk about their lives when they're younger, you can still see that they're just older versions of themselves. And if you have a conversation with them, they'll say, I still feel 26. So I still feel like my, like I still feel like I'm the same person back then or whatever. Um, so if you then love that person genuinely, and that person has not like gone, gotten a DNA re reconstruction. How do you stop loving that person? This one is long do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, if you if you're trying to say, okay, the fact that um, if you hate someone, that means the love was not. If the love is genuine, then you never. You can't hate the person. You can't yes, hate the person. So you're asking, how do you stop? Loving, loving the person. person, basically. You don't stop loving. You don't you stop loving. You just know when just... there's a problem and you need to step you away from exactly. this person. Exactly. You can't so continue with whatever. You boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know, you set boundaries, but you know you can always love this person just like from a distance. Just like someone did you know, me you dirty. You know you can always be there for that person, but you know you probably don't want to hang out with that Absolutely. person Absolutely. Exactly. Yes, That's what yes. I was going to say. Someone really did me yes. dirty. But if that person calls and you and be like, hey, you go right there to help the person. You go running. You get me? Oh, my. It depends on the person, though. You can really love people from a father. Even that helping is too I, much. No, because yeah, it can, they, some people suck you in help people that with I their helping. What about somebody I once loved? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like, it's going to be difficult okay. for them. You have to be like a serious devil to Yes, to now. Really and you think those people don't exist? Well, then do. Ha. Then do. But actually, okay, I think that's family love. When you know your brother or your sister or your cousin or something is so, so person, and you know that, okay, because they're family, you can't help but love them. If they need money, you always have to send them money. But you know, when they call that, ah, that's. And this woman's seeing your house. You don't want yeah. them to know your house. Mm. You don't want them to that know. One, like, Disha. you can really love people you. from afar. Yeah. Yeah. How do you. Um, how do you uh, think about this money being sweeter than sex? Yes, I was going to yeah. talk about that because um, to me, I, I'm just going to borrow your words like we had behind the scene where you said God is not stupid for putting, you know, exactly. um, sex in its own lane, you know, putting money in its own lane. Yeah. Do you understand? And uh, I think when you look at people that are... Anything, sex is God-made and man, money is man-made. Man -made. Yeah. And if you look at people that are really, really less privileged, you go, sit and I didn't get children pass. Okay, we don't have enough time, because we still want to play a lot of music. <laughs> I would just say on this topic, though, that um, not everyone is wired very sexual just because it's created by god there's a lot of people that don't have, have any desires have there's asexual like and that. even on the yeah. spectrum of of having desires some people have more than others so i think there's a lot of people that will be just fine mm. without it and you can give me all that money anyway that is a wrap because we have a lot of music breaks to um, uh, um still have a music break to i guess ease you into that but thank you so much for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter us at plus africa you can catch up on all our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV. You can watch on you can watch on Tea Time. You can watch Tea Time in our TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you got to my co-anchors who are doing the dance behind the scenes. <laughs> if I do I don't want to do the dance now. And hey, for giving it jiggy and of course the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Ifeoma. Have a good weekend.